Hello, this is Chris Mendrink with the WD Technology Group, a Sage 100 consultant. Today we're going to look into copying a salesperson into an order, an invoice, or an AR statement we may send through paperless office. Often companies want to copy the salesperson, especially into invoices and statements, so that they can see if their customers are uh, orders are shipping or that they can see that the customers are paying their bills on time, et cetera. So uh, today we're going to focus on copying our salesperson into orders when I send an order acknowledgement out via paperless office. With Sage 100 2019, the C version, they've added some new options to uh, simplify this process, and we will cover those. But uh, to start with, we're going to look at how we did it in versions prior to 2019. So within Stage 100, the first thing we need to do is just validate that we have paperless office turned on. There's a setup process you need to go through, et cetera. But for today's demonstration, we are not looking into how do we set up paperless office. We're just going to validate we have it turned on. So I'm going to go into form maintenance. I'm going to go look at what do I have set up on mine for paperless. And I've got all companies, all modules, all documents, all turned on. And so that tells me I'm going to be able to use paperless office throughout my system. Okay. Note that there's an electronic delivery message maintenance, and with Sage 100C 2019, they have enhanced this uh, to make it better. So in here is where I can put the template of the email that I'm going to send out through Paperless. Uh, in this case, as a say, says order acknowledgement. I can look and see what I wanted to say, I can insert stuff down here, I can insert images, different things like that to really personalize the email that goes with the order confirmation. Uh, you have this feature in versions prior to 2019. Uh, those versions though did not have the HTML type email that this can have, meaning you couldn't easily insert images and hyperlinks and different things like that. So now back to let's get our salesperson copied into these paperless office documents we're sending out. So the first thing we're going to do is go look at customer maintenance and accounts receivable and look at our paperless office settings for a customer. So here I have an ABC customer and I want to go ahead and set up their paperless office settings. I want to click paperless. In here, I can pick the document that I'm going to work with, and in this case, I'm going to pick the sales order. I can then say, when we uh, have sales orders, I may want to print and email, or just email and uncheck print. Typically on the sales order, though, a lot of people will do print and email. We'll come into email, and it'll say, hey, do you want to send it via data entry? So when you're entering the sales order, when you type an email address in the email field, it could send via that. Again, these are the settings for paperless. And so for our goal, though, is to copy a salesperson for ABC into any emails that go out as order confirmation. In order to do that, for every single customer, we want have to come in and put the email address down here in additional email addresses. So in this case, if I was the salesperson, I would have to type in my email address right here. And that will, when a order confirmation goes out via paperless office through sales order entry, copy me into every one of those emails. So you have to do this on versions prior to 2019 for every single individual customer. Now there are some benefits to that because you may not want to be copied into every single one of your customers' order confirmations. So using this method does let you pick and choose which customers you receive those copies from. But the other problem that comes along with this is what if a salesperson uh, picks up new customers or takes over a territory or a salesperson leaves, 
right? You have to come into every single customer record and update your paperless office settings and update the additional email addresses to the new salesperson. So with the introduction of Sage 100 C 2019, Sage provided an option in salesperson maintenance to simplify this. So in this case, this was by customer. I'm gonna go ahead and remove myself from that. And I'm going to still say that they could receive an email. We're gonna use it from data entry though. Hit accept, close that. Hit accept to close customer maintenance. Under accounts receivable, we're gonna go into setup. And inside of setup, we're going to salesperson maintenance. Inside of here, I can select the different salespeople within my organization. So here in my organization, I have Mark and Gary. If I go to Gary and say, Gary's email address is Gary. Okay, let's say that's his email address. Notice that I have a new button that you would not see prior to 2019 called paperless on salesperson maintenance. I can click on the paperless button. In here, I can easily copy Gary into all paperless documents that go out to his customers by simply clicking check mark next to sales order. And here you can see I can make him a two or a CC or a BCC. So maybe you don't want your end customer to see that the salesperson is copied in. So you could set it to BCC and that blind carbon copy means that the end uh, user or the person receiving the email would not see the salesperson's name and uh, copied into it. Here I just hit accept and accept on the salesperson maintenance. And I have now got Gary copied into all order confirmations that we would send out via paperless office. So. This feature makes that process much more efficient. If I'm okay with, or Gary's okay with receiving an uh, invoice each time one of his customers uh, gets invoiced or an AR statement every time that you know, a county does their statements that they send out, then this process through salesperson maintenance, this new feature uh, really does save us time. Again, this is all or nothing, right? So every single one of Gary's customers, he's going to receive that copy. The other way, through customer maintenance under accounts receivable, allows us to target only specific customers. So again, if I'm in customer maintenance and I pick a company, ABC was the one we just did, I can click on the paperless button, say sales order, make sure I've checked email, go to my email tab, and yeah, it's gonna to send to the email address and data entry, but it could still send to Gary at, right, at his email address. So two different options, um, whatever works best for you. The new feature with 2019 definitely can reduce the maintenance aspect of this, um, but again, it, it all depends on how many emails they want to receive. If you figure that if you're a high volume, high uh, volume of invoices per day, say two to 300 invoices going out every day, do you really want to bombard your salesman with, you know, 30, 40 emails per day for every single invoice that goes out? And so may not be the perfect solution to send them to all. And they may say, no, we only want certain ones and we're going to stick with doing it through customer maintenance. But we hope we, that you found this little uh, tip and this new feature uh, to, to be useful. And as always, if you have any questions or want to talk about the different ways to uh, automate reports and, and you know, send out emails to the salespeople that maybe that's a recap of what was invoiced the day before, uh, different things like that, uh, our group definitely does those types of things and has those conversations every week. So thank you for watching and have a great day.